a group of prosecutors are being trained on how to apply new prosecution guidelines. The guidelines were launched by the Director of Public Prosecutions, Jane Francis Abodo. We needed to guide the prosecutors on this and give it more detail, that when you receive a file, the actions that you take, the decision to charge, what should you have? In the guidelines are some of the principles that prosecutors need to follow in guiding police officers during investigations. You must sit with the police officer, make them understand where you're coming from, what kind of offense is being uh, in, that you want them to investigate. Because when you educate them on that, because most of the police officers, they're not legal, they're not lawyers, and you want them to go and collect legal material for you to present in court. There have been instances where some of the cases have been withdrawn from court due to lack of evidence. However, the DPP explains the procedure our office needs to be followed. The magistrate's court, we put in a withdrawal form. In the high court, we put in a nolle. Uh, withdrawing a case, that, it does not just happen. An officer must write an opinion. Some of the human rights defenders have in the past complained that some of the suspects are prosecuted or charged and then go to court. Later on, they are remanded, pending investigations which sometimes take too long to be completed, and sometimes they are acquitted due to lack of enough evidence. There have also been complaints where some of the prosecutors have allegedly been influenced by the state against its opponents. And therefore, could there be any of the punitive actions within the guidelines against some of the prosecutors who might deviate? Call that that they are quick to charge. Because if, actually, just imagine that I told my prosecutors, please don't sanction any charges unless you have 100% evidence. It would be jobless. Actually, would be, the, the streets would be, the, the criminals would be full. Lady Justice Abodo has reservations about private prosecutors. But now what happens with private prosecutions is that someone wakes up and actually almost drafts a charge sheet something similar. For me, I call it something similar to a charge sheet because it is never really accepted just as private prosecutor versus something that is, looks like a charge sheet. And then it is taken to court and this is actually registered as a case. The prosecutors have been using the 2014 guidelines. It is hoped that the prosecutors will sanction files basing on some level of evidence and they will guide police to find watertight evidence against suspected offenders. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV.